Hi, it's Brianna, and I'm coming to you with this quick video about things that I'm loving at the moment. And I'm going to start with makeup-ish stuff. Okay, so first I have this powder brush, and it's LA Colors. It's only $2 from the dollar store, or from Family Dollar. And it's like not the softest brush, but it's not that hard either. And I use it to put on blush and to put on that Urban Decay D-Slick. I don't have it with me. But um, the powder kind. Because they also have this kind. Um, which is, yeah, the spray after to make sure you, your face doesn't get oily. So I use that for both, of the, for both of those. And I really like it. This, I don't remember how much this cost. But it's the Econo Tools Liner Brush. And I really like it. I thought I couldn't put on gel liner. But after I got this brush, it was a lot easier. So I already talked about this. It just makes your face matte. I really like it. It's Urban Decay D Slick. This was like $11, I think. But they have a bigger case. That's like a better value. But this has lasted a really long time, so I like it. Um, next, I have this Prime Time on the Bobbi Brown Concealer under here. And it makes it stay longer. It doesn't crease as bad. And yeah. I also tried this professional sample. It looks like this on the inside. That's pretty much the um, texture of it. I liked it. It definitely made my pores smaller. But then, like right after I started using it, I got a little breakout, little breakouts right here. So I don't know if it was because of this or not. But it definitely made my pores smaller. I don't know if it's clogging my pores. But um, it's really smooth. It made my face smooth. It was kind of like a primer. But it just wasn't put primer on before it. I think I'm going to buy it. And yeah, it's from Benefit. And it's called The Poor Professional. It's one of their like best sellers or something. But yeah, I really like it. It came with my flat iron, which is right here. It was a sample with my flat iron, which I'm still loving. I just did my hair again recently. And yeah, it still feels soft. And yeah, like it comes out better. Like, it feels like a different texture of hair, if that makes sense. But, yeah. Like this. And I also got this. Um, I wanted to get things that seemed like they had a lot of product in it. Because, you know how some samples are kind of like this. Or, like, the little packets. I wanted to get something that was kind of big. So, I wanted to get this lotion. And I'm not crazy about the smell. It smells like... What does it smell like? He says it smells fruity, but yeah, it kind of smells like, yeah, it kind of smells like cucumbers or something. It smells good, but not something that I want on my body all the time. I put it on my feet because it's supposed to be spot H2O. My feet definitely felt a lot more hydrated. Um, and my hands too. My hands have been really dry lately. That usually doesn't happen in the winter. But I've been carrying this around in another moisturizer. It's just Jergens Ultra Healing. Ah, had lotion on my nose. Okay. Yeah, so I like this. Also for the winter, I like the Neosporin Lip Health Daily Hydration Therapy. It has SPF 20 in it. It's almost gone. But I like this. Wow. Yeah. See, it comes out kind of lotion-y. I like it. You should get it. It's like 4 or $5, I think. Yeah. Also, I'm really liking this brush. It's from Ulta. It is Remington. Uh, it was like $10. And I use it to blow dry my hair, to brush my hair, wrap my hair. It's very sturdy and it's good material for $10. Um, and it's pink and brown, like my bedspread. And let's see what else. Also, for my hair, I've been using this coconut oil. It's melted now. It's the. Um, Dr. Bronner's Magic All One Fair Trade and Organic Fresh Pressed Virgin Coconut Oil. It's unrefined. I've used the refined kind before. I don't really see a difference. Um, I actually just um, bought one for my boyfriend. And his, when it melts, is kind of yellowy. I don't know why it's yellowy, but maybe that's what the refined part is about. But yeah, I use this on my hair to seal um, like leave-in conditioners and serums and stuff every night. I also like these little clips for my hair and um, I like the pattern on this. 
I got these from the dollar store too for like two dollars. Um. Also, just one more hair product is you know one more hair product is this Nexus Salon Hair Care Therapy Luxurious Moisturizing Shampoo. I haven't found this yet, but this is a new bottle because I like to buy more than one bottle at a time, so I have it left. And um, I used to really like this, and I still kind of like it, but it's still it's starting to make my hair a little dry. Um, I don't know what that's about. But I think it's actually my, um, what is that? My, the relaxer that I use is Mazzani. Um, the lady left it in too long, so I'm thinking maybe my hair is kind of acting weird because of that. And I'm going to see if, yeah, that kind of goes away after the perm kind of wears off. Or if I should just switch to using the old conditioner that I used to use. Um, but yeah, I still really like this. It smells really good. It still feels like conditioner in my hair. It's just afterwards it doesn't feel as soft, but it's shampoo, so it shouldn't really feel like conditioner. And yeah, um, also like, I don't think I've shown these before, but these are tweezers, obviously, and I like, ha I like tweezers that have like, I don't know, that aren't pointed at the end, but have these little, how it's thicker, I don't know what it's called, but I really like that it grabs the hair easier, and is like more, it grabs more hair, and it's more precise, and easier to like, do it if you're not a professional. Um, oh yeah, and I have, like, nail items. The first one I'm wearing on my nails, I just got it, it is, oh, my nails are too big, I'm going to show this hand. Yeah, this is the color, um, it's called Accrued Interest, and it's Essie, and it looks like this. It's my first Essie fingernail polish. I really liked it. And yeah. I ooh, I use this OPI base coat. Uh natural nail base coat. And I use this LA Colors top coat. I figured I could use a cheap one because I already had the um base coat. And I was upset because I bought the base coat after they already made the two in one base coat top coat. But um I figured, yeah, I could just use this cheap one. And it turned out fine. And also I have this color on my toes. It is do you lilac do you lilac it this color is do you lilac it um, yeah I really like it um, kind of all I have to say about that and the last items are just clothes that I've been wearing a lot and loving it's a polo hat that my boyfriend got me it has a navy blue a navy blue horsey on it and in the back it says polo with the leather strap it's good for a bad hair day or if you just want to wear your hair up in a ponytail or if it's sunny or if it's cold and he also got me these leggings that I've been wearing a lot a lot lately I think I, I'm not sure if I showed them before in a video so I thought I'd show them again but they're just really comfortable I like I, I like to wear these with like oversized sweaters or sweatshirts um, and if it's, like, too, too cold, then I like to put, like, not leg warmers. Is that what they're called? Leg warmers? I think they're called leg warmers. Leg warmers under them. Yeah. So that's these. And the last thing I'm gonna, yeah, this is the last thing I'm gonna show you. And the last thing I'm gonna show you are these, I think I've shown these in a video before, too, I'm not sure. But I was from Victoria's Secret. They're like yoga pants, but they only go to like your knees. Originally in the picture, they gypped me because in the picture, it was, um, what am I trying to say? In the picture, it like went all the way down to your legs. So I thought I was going to the ones that were all the way down to your legs, but these aren't, obviously. And But yeah, they're really comfortable. I can wear these all day. They make me want to work out more. And they're called yoga. I guess they're just called yoga because that's what it says on the inside tab. But yeah, I like these. Um, hopefully that wasn't too boring. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe if you liked it. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, or requests, please send me a message. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Brianna. You made me mess up.